Welcome back to the finale of What If 5's Join the Bad Batch. To recap what happened in those if you haven't seen them, Fives have been rescued by Clone Force 99, as well as Rex and Cody, after his involvement in the assassination attempt on Palpatine. Their efforts had helped to equip Fives, but Palpatine had managed to avoid punishment through his political powers. Now he tries to repair his reputation, as the galaxy becomes aware of his corruption. Palpatine turned to his holo projector and summoned the representative of the intergalactic banking clan in Senator Rush Clovis of Scipio. The senator had been expecting Dooku in light of the events surrounding Palpatine, but he found himself being lifted into the air as the Sith Lord ordered him to give him the files to expose the banking clan. Clovis knew the running was not an option and infiltrated the core of the vault to grab the files, but as he did so, he found Dooku standing in his path. The apprentice instructed him to not take the files as they would only serve to help Palpatine and spread lies across the Senate and Clovis is unsure of what to do. The senator desperately ran to his office and sent a transmission to Senator Amidala on Coruscant asking for a help before going to a nearby cave in his speeder hoping to evade Dooku. In Padme's office, the senator had received a pleas of Clovis and immediately she ran to the Jedi Council who calculated that Dooku was challenging his master for Sith supremacy. The Jedi were aware that if they did not stop Palpatine first, he would place the blame of the clone army on the corrupt funding of the banking clan and an elite group of Jedi council members entered his office to confront him. The Chancellor had been preparing to enter his ship and confront his traitor's apprentice, but found the lightsaber of Master Windu alongside several others pointing in his direction. Palpatine ignited his lightsabers and revealed his true identity that the Jedi had long suspected, but his powers were still a surprise as they sent them back into the Dwarfy statues, allowing him to run into a secret hangar. The Jedi recovered to intercept his escape, and along with the chip-free clone troopers, they surrounded his ship, then fired. Palpatine leapt from the explosion and unleashed a huge lining attack, bathing the normally darkened hangar in a bright haze, but Clone Force 99 had been on the roof, and Crosshair scoped out the Chancellor. From above, Wrecker used his detonators and projected them onto the ground, where Palpatine had been caught off guard, finding his leg leaking with Sith energy. Anakin cuffed his corrupt former friend, as Palpatine pleaded that Dooku was the one they should be taking to justice, but it fell on their fears. As the Sith Lord was watched over by several Jedi, the Council had one more task to take care of, and tracked Clovis's signal to the planet of Scipio. A Separatist blockade obstructed their path, Danakin punched a hole through the ships in his starfighter and skidded to the ground. Despite his hate for Clovis, he had a duty to the Jedi and with the 501st Legion and Clone Force 99, they rescued Clovis from his hidden position, then saw Dooku hovering above them with the remainder of the Separatist forces, led by General Grievous. Obi-Wan orders the Republic to move into the mountains and on even terrain, Anakin begins to use his hate on Dooku. The Sith had been on the receiving end of Anakin's improved dueling ability throughout the war, but he was not prepared for a combination of attacks that sent him into the abyss beneath him and to his death. Beside him, Anakin's master had been tackling Grievous, but found himself distracted by the droids. From another hilltop, Crosshair perfectly collapsed the ground beneath Grievous, and in the ensuing battle, Obi-Wan was able to prise open Grievous' chest and puncture it with his blade. All of the Jedi returned to Coruscant with their clones, and work slowly begun on eliminating all of the corruption that Palpatine had previously weaved through the Senate, starting with the questionable finances. After another trial, Palpatine was officially removed from office, and his connection to the Force had been severed, leaving him to spend his remaining days as a scholar on his home planet of Naboo, despite calls for him to be executed. In the military base on Coruscant, Rex and Cody saluted Clone Force 99 and Fives, who had proved himself worthy to join their squad, and they left in their separate directions. The mismatched group continued their work in getting rid of any remaining pockets of Separatists, and occasionally tackling crime, leaving their more esteemed clones to take the glory, and serving the New Republic. The Jedi decided to keep the clone army, in the event of another war breaking out, but Anakin did not fail to recognise the efforts of Clone Force 99, promoting them all to Clone Marshal Commanders, and the memory of Clone Trooper 99 would never be forgotten. That is it for What If 5 joined the Bad Batch. If you enjoyed this What If, please like this video, turn on your notification bell, 
Click that subscribe button on this channel as well as on my other channel What If Films. And as always, leave a comment on what if you'd all like to see next and how I can improve my videos. Thank you all very much for watching and see you next time.